It's a weird world we're living in, everybody. Very strange time to be alive, is it not? A very negative world that a lot of us are living. Negative people are becoming negative machines. We all have that negative friend. You know the guy I mean, the guy you call. It's a beautiful sunny day, middle of June. Hey, buddy, how was your day? Ah! Today was awful! The sun, so bright! I was hanging out with my girlfriend. She's nothing but blowjobs and encouragement. It's hard to be around those people. It's very strange, I said blowjob and then caught my dad in my left corner of my eye. That was fantastic right there. Especially because he was kneeling down. That will not be edited out. That will be appearing at the Hastings Christmas party every year until I'm dead. It's a negative world. How do we combat this negativity? How do we do it? How do we do it, you say? Voice in my head. Well, let me tell you. Information. Information will help you stay positive. Yeah, it will. It will. Here's a piece of information that will make you all feel great and tingly inside. Guys, in China, you can get breakfast at McDonald's any time of the day. See? You want to feel even better? Think about this. Right now, the world's economy resembles my personal bank account. <laughs> Countries all over the world are on the precipice of an economic disaster. And one of the ways they can avoid an economic black hole from taking over their entire country and robbing them blind of money and hope is they can sell a portion of their debt to China. And China will give them money. It's basically a loan. And if that country can't pay back that debt in time, China takes over their economy which means, in a domino-like effect, China, one of the world's worst human rights-violating dictatorships, could take over the entire planet without firing a bullet or putting a troop on the ground. And when that happens, ladies and gentlemen, we will get Egg McMuffins anytime we want. Mm -hmm. Because that's why, guys, you shouldn't bring a date to a comedy show. To be a good audience member, you can't talk in a loud voice. You can't turn to your lover and be like, oh, that was a good joke, right? They'll kick you out. <laughs> you get in the booth. So why come to a comedy show? That's how you're gonna have to communicate. Did you like that joke? Uh-huh. It's the worst way to talk ever. And everything sounds horrible and scary and frightening. Like, just like, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Thanks for asking. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you want to come over to my house for nachos and watch a movie? I love nachos. And I love movies. Hey. Do you want to come over to my house? Well, it's not really a house. It's more of a tent in the warehouse district. I, uh, I'm gonna make nachos out of your dead skin. <laughs> Everything sounds creepy when you whisper, right guys? Right guys. I, uh, I'm uh, single. Good. I felt that feels nice right there, I'm single. That was my dad again. Uh, what happened, daddy? Get that surgery we've been talking about. Uh, why did I say surgery? I'm single. It's weird being single because you, you go on, on, on dates and you have to ask your friends for advice. Like you go to them and be like, how do you just talk to a girl? And they're like, oh man, you just gotta be confident. Go up there, don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Isn't that what a rapist does? Yeah, but you're Canadian, so you'll be polite. What? <laughs> so strange, so strange. Guys are afraid of so much stuff. We're afraid of so many things. We're afraid of coming off as creepy. We are, we are. Why are we afraid of coming off creepy? We're not creepy. We're just bags of meat wandering around looking for beer and naps. That's what we do. That's all we want. We're not creepy people. 
And I figured out why guys think that way. It's because girls wander around this planet, you do, you do, pointing at anything and declaring it creepy. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's got a beard. It's creepy. <laughs> Look at that guy, completely clean shaven face. Just as creepy. <laughs> that guy's not wearing a shirt, creepy. That guy's not wearing a suit, creepy. <laughs> our brains out. I don't know what to do. And I can't figure out why girls would do that. Scare us about being creepy. Till I realized, wait a minute. Girls are creepy. That's your camp, you are, you're frightening. No man pretends to be friends with another man, but hates him. Here's what we do, we walk up. Hey man, hey, what's up? Nothing, I'm gonna go stand over there. Yeah, me too. And I'm gonna say, fuck you behind our breath and get drunk. <laughs> That's just what we do because girls, you're frightening and creepy. You cover yourself in liquid hot wax, boiling hot candle wax. You cover it around your groin and rip the hair out by the root as if a razor hasn't been invented for 5,000 years. And we like the stubble, it's nice. It's like we're making love to a detective from the 1930s. <laughs> Where'd it go? I don't know. Solve the mystery. <laughs> Creepiest things girls do. Creepiest, I just fucking freaked me out. I just hear my dad laughing. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Jesus. You got one job to do, Hastings. Sit in the back. <laughs> no, I'm going up front. I'm gonna make the creepy joke just a little bit creepier. <laughs> Creepiest thing women do. Creepiest thing is you ask us about our thoughts. <laughs> what are you doing? You think that's gonna make a relationship more intimate? No, it's gonna frighten you forever. Because our thoughts aren't violent or sexual, they're stupid. <laughs> And you don't ask us in an emergency. It's not like the house is on fire. We're in a huddled position covered in soot. Just, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we should get out of here. Me too. Love you. Love you. Mwah. It's never that. It's, you know, it's like you're just about to fall asleep. The windows open a little, letting the breeze in. The moonlight is bathing the room. It's beautiful. And that's when your lover decides to roll over. Just gaze at you with their hazelnut eyes. No girl I've ever seen looks like me, but just imagine. Just the girl's over. Hey, Putin. What are you thinking? Well, I was just thinking, why do people discuss uh, the topic? If someone said, give me a blowjob, I'll give you a million dollars, why do they discuss that? I would just say, show me the cash, drop your pants. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Matt, you have so much props at the country club. You walk in, what did you do, invest in a hedge fund? I sucked a dick, whoa. You're that guy? Yeah, that's me. And then later I was thinking, hey, why is it called peanut butter and jam when jam and peanut butter are so much more enticing? Let me explain it for you further. Let's roll we're through it together. All right, you want a peanut butter and jam sandwich? No, I'm fine. How about this, buddy? How about I get two pieces of bread, toast them. And I cover both pieces of toast in a thin, sweet layer of delicious preserved jam. Little bits of strawberry, not too big. And then I reach into the cupboard and I take out dangerous, illicit peanut butter. <laughs> Slather it on there, you know peanut butter a spread so dangerous, it's actually killed children. <laughs> and we ate those sandwiches as one. And then I was thinking, today at lunch, I should have been more of a man because I was sitting next to a guy and he was eating a sandwich and he ate the sandwich, took a bite and he went, ah, call that a sandwich? And it took all that I am, my love, not to get up and say, listen up, buddy. Did it go bread, something bread? then it's a sandwich! <laughs> so I'm lying in bed 
with my girlfriend and I let that monologue fly, she wouldn't stop punching me in the face until she saw daylight. And she would go to a doctor and have herself sewn shut. Effectively ending the human race is that information spreads from woman to woman to woman to woman to woman. No, no, we are not procreating. I know what you're thinking about. That peanut butter thing is gross. Put it away. And eventually the human race would end. And the fact that women want that to come about is creepy.